welcome to our live coverage of SpaceX's Demo-1 mission. If you're just joining us, Dragon has performed its final departure burns from the International Space Station and is on its way back home to us. Today's mission actually began back on March 2nd when Dragon launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Following that successful launch, Dragon arrived at the space station and docked with the orbiting lab on March 3rd. Dragon's return to Earth will mark the third completion of SpaceX's first demonstration mission for NASA's commercial crew program. While there are no astronauts on board Dragon today, this demonstration mission represents an important milestone as we approach our first crewed mission later this year. Earlier today, Dragon powered up from sleep mode and began its departure procedures and system checks. That's right, and then the spacecraft autonomously undocked from the International Space Station at 11.32 p.m. Pacific time just yesterday on March 7th. I'm pretty sure it's March 8th now. We've been here all night. Uh, and then it began a series of departure burns to move away from the station. And I think we just heard trunk separation. All right, so hopefully we'll be call. able to bring you visual here shortly. Actually, no, we're too far away from yep. station at the moment, so. And we just, just heard had confirmation of the deorbit burn. So like we said, uh, this will last about 15 minutes. So there we have some uh, views from Dragon as it is re-entering the atmosphere. It's uh, it's pretty dark in space. Yeah, we're, we're still <laughs> in the midst of that deorbit burn. We're expecting that to take about five more minutes. So that's that's pretty unique getting views from the spacecraft while that deorbit burn is still underway. All right, now we're just gonna stand by and listen for how the deorbit burn went. And again, that nose cone just closes to protect that top portion of the vehicle from all of the re-entry uh, events, not only the re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, but also once it's down in the water. And that protects the guidance and navigation and control sensors on top of Dragon, and also uh, that docking ring uh, that it uses to attach to the space station. So again, what you're seeing right now is the nose cone closing on the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, as we await for it to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. All right, so that nose cone looks like it's just about closed. We'll wait for final confirmation uh, that everything looks good with it. And so we're getting a bit of a treat here. You're getting a live view inside the Dragon capsule as again, it's getting closer and closer to that entry interface coming through the Earth's atmosphere and then splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean. So this is a view from that WB-57 airplane. You were looking at dragons streaking across the sky on its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, aiming for a splashdown in just a little while from now. So it's pretty exciting that we get this shot right now as it is our first view from planet Earth of the Dragon capsule since it lifted off from Cape Canaveral uh, just several days ago. I will say this is this is a pretty rare treat to be able to see this here. And again, this this video is coming from a NASA airplane that uh, we're flying around that recovery zone there, a WB-57. It's commonly used for a lot of atmospheric studies and other mm -hmm. science missions, uh, but able to put a tracking camera on it to try and get uh, this uh, re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere today. We're hearing that they should have AOSO acquisition, acquisition of signal back with the Dragon spacecraft. Right now it's about 46 kilometers in altitude. Yeah, so just for orientation purposes, 
if you've seen our, our launches previously, you might be familiar with the angling of this as takeoff. Uh, reminder, this is re-entry. Um, the plane is below the Dragon spacecraft and the camera is looking upward as it's coming over the spacecraft. So it looks like uh, from the orientation of the the imagery there, that Dragon is going up when in fact it is it is still coming back down towards Earth. And again, just keeping you on the timeline. So we actually acquired signal uh, about a minute ahead of when it was expected. Where we're going to be looking for those initial drogue shoot deployments at about 41 minutes after the hour. So after Dragon gets a little bit lower down, we're going to be keeping an eye out. You're going to see the drogue shoots deploy initially, followed by those four main parachutes, uh, much larger and able to slow the vehicle down for a much softer splashdown in the ocean. We should be getting that drogue, sh drogue shoot deployment in just about two minutes now. And just heard that we're now below 30 kilometers. And if you're just now tuning in, this is Dragon. This is Dragon coming home. This is from a camera on board a chase plane there at the, the landing zone over the Atlantic, about 200 or so nautical miles off the coast of Florida. We're under 30 kilometers, continuing to descend. And the next milestone we're going to be looking for is parachute deployment. And here and we're now about 20 kilometers in altitude. The Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the error braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are going to kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drogue parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. And so those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that flashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. to the Atlantic Ocean. You really can't ask for a more picture-perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's going to continue to descend. It's going to continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Yeah. 
Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. Splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're going to start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule. 